How you doing guys? As you probably know from watching my videos, there's always some kind of apocalypse that you gotta watch out for. Whether that's your run-of-the-mill economic collapse, your solar flares, what have you. Nowadays we've even got Ebola and a bunch of other stuff we gotta worry about. But no matter what the apocalypse is, there's one super important thing that you have to have to be prepared for. And that is spam. Now this has everything a body needs. I think the rule of thumb is you need one can of spam per pound of body weight per week to survive any given apocalypse. And since spam is the number one most important thing you need to survive apocalypse, that makes the number two most important thing you need to survive in the apocalypse a spam slicer, or in this case, a luncheon meat slicer. And obviously this is a luncheon meat slicer, so it wouldn't be complete without a can of genuine luncheon meat. This is a 09 vintage. Here these are real peaking right now. Should be coming into its own. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use the luncheon meat slicer so you can be sure to survive any apocalypse you happen to come across. It'd be nothing worse than uh, dying because you didn't know how to properly utilize your stores of spam and genuine luncheon meat. So we're going to test this thing out and see how it works and see if it's worth picking one up. So here is our luncheon meat slicer. As you can see, it's stainless steel, steel wires, ABS construction. They really spared no expense. It's ideal for slicing luncheon, slicing luncheon meats as well as fruits and vegetables. Long product life. That's what you need to survive any apocalypse. Dishwasher safe. Of course, you'll be washing this thing by hand in a dirty tub if there's an apocalypse. We're going to check this out and see exactly how well it works. So first, you've got to open up your can of... Uh, I'm going to have to sit this down for a second. The first thing you want to do is open up your can of luncheon meat. Oh yeah, taking that smell. That's good stuff right there. Now what I normally do is I give it a little bit of a rinse. To get that weird gelatin off of it. Appetizing, right? Yeah, I know. Alright. So let's see what we got here inside of our luncheon meat package. As always, it helps to get a buddy if you're trying to open something by with one hand. These are the perils of making YouTube videos by yourself. You have to do everything one-handed. Of course, you could just pretend that you'd lost your arm in the zombie apocalypse. Make sure you can still use your spam slicer. I'm sorry, your luncheon meat slicer. All right, here we go. Pretty good so far. First, uh impression is it is, it is actually fairly sturdy it even has a little thing here so you could anchor it into the ground if you were really want to do some hardcore spam slicing so let's put our little blocko spam i'm going to turn this thing around Ooh. not too shabby pretty good it is kind of actually a pain in the ass to slice spam and to even slice this if you're just using a knife, especially once you get down to the very end and you've got trying to cut, you end up with these anyway, but you're also much more likely to cut yourself and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So that actually worked fairly well. And of course, I like my spam fried in the pan, so that's what I'm going to do with this. But uh, yeah, if you actually do have a lot of spam stored up or you just eat it on a regular basis, maybe you want to pick one of these up. Not that it's really that hard to uh, slice this stuff by hand but it does take a uh, one or two minute job and turn it into a 10 second job. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. I'll put a link on where you can find these things in the description box below. Talk to you later.